Why when you go to Tinder? Why when you go to any dating app? Why when you look online? What do women normally talk about? How good a body a guy looks, right? How good his, how good his body looks? How big his private part is? How he could do her all night long? How he can rock her world? How she wished this? How she wished that? And it's crazy because women think that they don't pick men. This is the this is what's been happening. It used to be, maybe it used to be a little bit different. You know, it used to be, oh, a girl can get with a fat guy and it's all good. <laughs> the tables have turned, fellas. Now, women want men that look just as good. They want them to look in shape. And I'm not knocking all this kind of stuff. But to say that men aren't objectified, when we get talked about our private parts, they make songs about our private parts. They make songs about how we can do all this to them. They make songs about us doing that. And they talk about it all the time. Don't you think about their Just go listen to songs these days. Women talk about how much their kitty cat is so special and how he can smash it and how he can do this and how he can do that or how he's got money and blah, 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 blah. Okay, we all get it. <sighs> The reason we know men are objectified is because when you see a woman, when she talks about a man that she wants, when she shows pictures online, she normally shows a man who's very fit and very physical fit, and they go off of what he looks like. But the problem I have with that is that women turn around and say that us men should go for, let's be honest, hey, look, you might hate me on this one, but they turn around and tell us men to go for fat girls. Hey, look, I'm just being honest. Can I be honest for a minute? I'm just saying they turn around and say you know what you gotta accept me for who i am you gotta accept me for being fat you gotta accept me for doing all of this uh uh just the fact that i wake up in the morning and you should just accept that uh no because you want a man who looks great and who is in shape and isn't all this stuff so me as a man even though me personally i can't say anything i'm fat so <laughs> i got nowhere to go but it's crazy for a man who is fit. He gets more. Think about this, guys. Men get more praise sometimes for going after a fat girl than they would just going for a girl who's just relatively in shape. What, what, what do we hear so much of? Oh, he couldn't handle a big girl. Real men love big girl. Real men want women with curves. Real men want this. Real men want that. It's like, what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Slow down. So I got to go get in the best physical shape of my entire life only for me to get with somebody who isn't in the best shape of their entire life. I got to lower my standards to make you feel better about yourself because you overeat or you don't really go to the gym or all of this stuff. And I'm supposed to just do my best. No, absolutely not. Men. This is what we see happen when we look into ourselves and we see that a lot of women go for the best looking men. Why do y'all think that is? Why do y'all think they go for the the chads? And I'm not against them going for the chads. Just like I'm not, I'm not, a, oh man, I'm, I'm trying to explain this, right? I'm, I'm upset that it's because when men try to go for a girl who is way out of their league, right? It, he's, a, he's a three. He goes for a girl who's a 10. He gets told he's crazy. He is told he shouldn't go for a girl like that. He shouldn't do that kind of stuff. What was he thinking? He he should go for a girl who just looks average. She looks like the everyday girl. You know who started this phenomenon? And it started way back then. But you remember when Taylor Swift made that dumb video about going for the football jock? What is it? Uh, uh He wears boy shirts. I wear t-shirts. That song. And she's just a normal nerdy nobody who gets to go for the football jock. And that's what every girl, I, I, I was young during that time when that song came out. And it's like, that's what we see now. All the girls want to go for the quarterback. And when you watch movies, go, I don't know, movies are fantasy, but this is how women are starting to really think. Who normally gets the good looking guy in the movie? It's, no, it's never normally the best looking woman in the movie. If the girl is a nerd or anything, she's a nerd, she's out of shape, she ain't the smartest, she ain't anything, she still gets the best looking guy. Because why? Because us men are supposed to be noble. Us men are supposed to pick a girl based off of her personality because she's cool. Not because she's pretty, not because she's hot, but because she's just cool. She's just nice. She doesn't, she doesn't do these kind of stuff. Because the pretty girl, what, what does the pretty woman always do? She, she's the bully. She picks on everybody because she looks good. All I'm trying to say is that's not true because they don't ever show movies where the the only movie you ever see where the girl goes for the fat guy 
<laughs> is what? <laughs> is what? The Nutty Professor. Okay? The Nutty Professor is the last time I really saw a, when the, when a good looking girl goes for the fat guy. And even then, when the good girl goes for the fat guy, it's a comedy. It's always a comedy. Always a comedy. And I think to myself, what a beautiful world we live in that we can't be ourselves and love ourselves. It's just not possible at all. Not possible at all. Why? Because men are objectified. I know these aren't the popular sentiments. See, when I make videos like this and I just, you know, get regular guys in here, this is what I want. I'm tired of men just getting used and um, getting put in this place for that. I I'm just sick of average men and average guys not being able to go to for average girls and all that kind of stuff because men are objectified just like women are. Now it's because you hear women talk about it all the time when you go to podcasts. It used to not be this way. There used to be a little bit more modesty. But now when you watch a podcast with young 20 year olds, 30 year old, 40 year old, 50 year old, 60 year olds, cougars, whatever you want to call them, what do they always talk about? They talk about how much man and um, excuse my language, but I'm just trying to make sure you understand. They talk about how much a man can dick them down. Tell me that how that uh, objectification. You can't tell me that if a guy always gets judged by his how big his <laughs> how big his elephant trunk is. How that an objectification? Why can the girls talk about a guy having a small dick or a small dick energy? But that but if I go say and say, well that girl's got fat girl energy. If I said that, right? What if I said she got she got fat girl energy? Like I would be called misogynistic i would be called terrible i'm judging a girl because she's fat <laughs> but you go after a guy because his penis isn't 12 feet 12 feet 12 inches right even men do this to each other and it's kind of stupid <clears throat> men young men i don't really see older men do this too much but young men talk having a pissing contest about how big their dicks are it's just like what are we, what are we doing who's that important to and how is that me as another guy, another male, your, your 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 dick size doesn't really matter to me. I don't care. I don't care. But women have really got you believing that that makes you a somebody. It doesn't. I'm sorry. You you're born with what you're born with. Okay. It's as long as it's gonna be. But they want us to go get enlargement pills. They want us to go for three hours. They want us to go for five hours in the bedroom. To, for what? So they can go back to their girlfriends about how good it. Like you know what I'm saying? It's the same thing that us men would do if we had a really hot chick and we went and back, uh, told her how I um, told all our friends we were doing this with her, doing that with her. But then we get told we're crazy. We can't do that. When a girl talks about how good a guy looks in the gym oh that's normal she's being cool she's admiring him the fact that i would even say anything it means i'm insecure but a guy looks at a girl in the gym oh lord he's a creep he's a freak why is he looking at her like that it's the same reason you look at men when you watch men in the gym <laughs> when you watch men on tv when you watch morris chestnut okay when y'all look at uh what's his name chris hemmingsworth Women love to see men like that with the abs and looking great. But you're still objectifying them. You're looking at them for how great a shape they're in. It's the same thing as men try to do when we say, man, that girl's really good shape. But we get told we got to we gotta lower our standards and go for the fat girl. We got to go for the fat girl who's a nerd in the class. We can't go for the good looking cheerleader. We got to go for the fat girl because the fat girl uh, has a personality. But, but fat guys, this is what I'm trying to say. Fat guys don't get no motherfucking chance. Zero, zip, none, zero at all. I'm a fat guy. I can speak. The only reason I was ever able to get a woman, guys, is because I could speak. Because I just had, I had enough confidence. I had the confidence. Y'all just saw me do a 20 minute workout without my shirt on. Okay, I just did a 20 minute workout. If y'all weren't watching, I just did a 20 minute workout without my shirt on. I don't care. I've done this for a long time. You go to my Instagram. Go back. You'll see all types of videos with me with my shirt off, even though I'm fat. But it's crazy. A girl who's fat doesn't have to have confidence like me to get a, a guy. She's supposed to just be able to be herself. She could eat up the house, but she should be able to get whoever she wants. You see, because you see, and I'm not, I don't knock Lizzo because she's fat. I knock Lizzo because she's a hypocrite. She is so quick to talk about we should love fat women in their bodies and we shouldn't judge bodies, but then she says her dream guy is Chris Hemingsworth. She wants to go after the most fittest motherfucker you'd have never seen on earth. She didn't say, oh, you know what? I like 
who the who the fat guy? She didn't say I want Drewski. She didn't say that. He ain't never missing Drewski. She ain't missing no fat Joe. She didn't mention no fat celebrities. Who did she mention? She mentioned the fit celebrity. The most one of the most fit celebrities. They're allowed to be oh, this is so this is so frustrating. Because a woman's fat, she they they tell her to reach for the stars. She should be able to get what she wants, even though she's fat. But if you're a fat guy, you're 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 a loser. You're you're a chump. You you shouldn't be able to get any girl at all, even the fat girls. Now, hear me out. This is not how all women think. Duh. Just like all men aren't creeps. Duh. You know what I'm saying? I would agree with that. I think the average woman doesn't really care what her guy looks like, except for him being tall. I do see that across the board. Women do like their men taller. Okay, but women will settle. Okay, just like us men will settle. Okay, I know a woman thinks she settles for a short guy, but a short guy is still settling for her. Okay, <laughs> at the end of the day, we both gotta settle for each other. Okay, we 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 get what we get in this world. Okay, you can't get it all. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to get uh, who's a really pretty um uh, uh Scarlett Johansson. I I'm not gonna be able to get her. She's got money. She's got fame. I don't even know if she likes guys. Okay, but ah. <laughs> uh, but Lizzo can get Chris Hemingsworth, but I have to settle for the bottom of the barrel. I should just be happy. It's so disgusting because I'm so tired of the kitty cat being put on this pedestal, right? The private parts getting put on this. It's frustrating because when women when women talk about men and when I hear story and I, and I watch story times, I watch women on the internet tell stories and stuff like that. They always talk about how good the sex was and how big his thing was and how he could do things with his tongue and all that. But that, when a guy talks that same way, when he's very sexual, he's like, man, she could flip and do the splits and uh, do a backflip. And man, she uh, gave me the, what did they say? Glock, Glock 3000. We say all that. And then we're pigs. But a woman says that she's promiscuous. She's, she's, uh, She's empowered. She knows her worth. It's like, shut up, man. Y'all can objectify us all the way down to our feet. But the second we like, man, we do the same thing. Talk about your breast size. We talk about how good your butt looks. We're freaks and creeps. It's got to stop. You know, and I know it sounds silly. And I know some people don't think you should be equal. Oh, sorry, man. It just has to be. And I know men get the bad end of the stick, man. I, I really do. Because I really feel like... Sometimes men get a pass in some areas. I, I I would agree with that, but I don't give men a pass in anything. I don't think it's right for men to objectify. Women. I don't care how many guys a man has slept with. It doesn't impress me. It doesn't. It never will. Okay. But I also I also try to protect my men. I always I would tell men who are in great shape and all that kind of stuff. There's men I know who are in great shape and like that, but they don't show their bodies off like these men in this video. They, they know how to keep it on the wrap. They're in shape for their woman. That's it. They don't they do not do it for other people. So I try to tell men the same thing. Don't go putting your body out there on the line. I know you got abs, but if you're going out and doing the same thing that women do when they show their butt cheeks, you're just showing your chest or showing your package. It's still the same thing, man. You don't want to get into that world of uh, objectifying yourself and having yourself be objectified. You're still a human being. You shouldn't have to go out there and do this. You shouldn't have to go get in the greatest shape of your life, show yourself on the camera just to be able to get a woman. That's not how it goes, man. You got so much more to you. Men, you know, you can be smart. You can be an engineer. You can be, damn, you can be a burger flipper at McDonald's, but still be getting what you got to get. Look, I'm just trying to say, look, men don't get caught up in the same life too. Because now more men are starting to flock to OnlyFans. You see more men doing this kind of stuff because one, they're going to attract either they're going to attract two types of people. They're going to attract women and other men. And it's still the same thing. Don't ever reduce yourself to a body part. Don't let no girl talk about how I don't care if you do have the biggest thing in the world. If it's 10 inches, you, you about yours. You don't have to. <laughs> it's silly to brag about that dog like don't let these women make you turn this into a pissing contest like your worth is in your penis size dude like it's really not you don't make these women talk they make you think that because you have that it makes you special in this world because that's such a sad way to live when there's real men out here doing real stuff really getting out here really building companies really building legacies really taking care of their family and you're being reduced to how good you are in the bed don't let these women fool you dog you're way more than that and us men out here we really don't care you know what i'm saying it's 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 it's, it's very how can i say this it's very I, I have no other way to say this 
and I mean this as nicely as I can say it. it's just stupid it's just stupid it's just stupid it's like it's like little it's like little kids <laughs> really really measuring out their thing and saying now I got more worth because I can have sex with any girl I want men <laughs> this is how the world has sexually objectified y'all listen to me right quick how many women you have sex with is really not that important it does not give you more or less worth even other men have been lying to y'all and telling y'all that oh because a woman looks at a man and because he has more women they he becomes more attractive man don't follow that bs don't go out there and have sex with many girls don't go get in the best shape of your life just to have sex with that's what's so crazy guys is men will get in the best shape of their lives just so they can have sex with women just because the women turned them down when they weren't in the greatest shape and so they go get in the greatest shape and then they be like now i can have sex with whoever i want wow they really got you locked you went and you went women made you go out and do the best they made you go out and diet they made you 365 days a year watch what you eat get in the gym be in the best shape you've ever been in and you have to do this every day only for you to have to go get average looking girls maybe you get some top girls and then you get some fat girls it's like you you went out there to go do all of this and make yourself a better person just that just so the girls can say they had sex with you like what the f if that's what if that's the hill you want to die on if you want to be 60 years old and be like yeah i had sex with a bunch of women okay I'm telling you, that's not a life to live. It's going to be a, not, a lot better when you get to 60. And you're like, man, I, I raised my sons and my daughters to be stand up people in this world. I was able to make enough money for my family. OK, I was able to do all these things and I stayed in great shape so I could stick around and be able to take care of the people around me and build a better world, even though it's a hard. I went out and did things that were hard. Not I went out and had sex with a bunch of women when I was in my 20s and 30s and got nothing out of it. I just got a bunch of baby mamas now. I, I just got a I just got a bunch of baby mamas now and I lost a lot of money having sex with all these women cuz hey man if you if you're not paying attention you're going to get got <laughs> I know it I <laughs> I'm not trying to throw somebody out there but I'll just say I know a person very close to me who's a very looking guy ended up with seven kids four baby mamas he ain't making no money his money goes everywhere he got seven kids it's gonna take care of all of them only because he was a good looking guy and the girl said man he has good sex and then he got got 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 now he's got seven kids with four different women and he had to deal with all of them make you being good looking and having a big thing does not stop you you're gonna get got remember when they tried to get drake they are going to get you they are going to try to lock you in forever forever okay man don't fall for it. Don't be stupid. Don't objectify yourself. F these women when it comes to that. Okay? Now, women, y'all know I ain't talking about y'all like that. You know what I mean? Okay? Just talking to my men for today. Men, rise. Be better. All right.